you, Angel. Anytime. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our unboxing videos, product reviews, how-tos, and more. So the NW WM 1A M2, which I'm gonna drop the NW uh, from now on, is one of two newly updated digital audio players from Sony, the other being the high-end NW WM 1Z M2. So the major change here is that they now have added Wi-Fi and it now runs on Android 11 rather than Sony's own operating system. This is a game changer for people who want to stream and download music. So now you've got the option, you can stream from third party sources and access your own stored files. And you've even got an uh, option for cloud storage now with the Google integration. So let's get right to it and see what is inside the box. Cause that's what you're here for, right? I'll just show you as I go along. So we've got the, I think the Sony recycled packaging here. Ooh, I like that slide. So everything is protected by this velvety sheet. So as you can see, it's that same velvety or velour material is surrounding like this presentation. And voila. Here she or he is. Put her down for a second so we can see what else is in the box. So for all you readers out there, you've got all of your written literature. And you've got your USB-A to USB-C cable. And that's it. So we actually don't have any of the original WM1A left in stock. So I don't have one to do a side-by-side -side comparison. But I do know that the uh, M2 version is just a tad bigger and a tad heavier than the first gen. But when I say heavier, I mean this thing is pretty light. It's only 10 and a half ounces. Um, now the touchscreen has been embiggened. It's an official word now, look it up. It's in the dictionary. Um, so it is now five inches and the display has been updated to high def, which is nice. The body is aluminum with an aluminum alloy on the back. It feels very solid, but it's also, it feels right sized. Like it's, it's not, it, there's, it's not heavy. It's not clunky. It's just right. So as far as your IO on your buttons on the top, you've got your stereo mini jack and balance standard jacks for your headphone outputs. And I like that they include these little protectors so when your jacks are not in use, that's nice. And on the left side, you've got your micro SD card slot for adding storage and you've got your hold switch. And what that will do is if you engage that when you're listening to music and you put your player in your pocket, that prevents buttons or controls from being activated and messing up your playback. So that's a nice feature. Now on the right side, you've got your power button and what they've done is they've moved it up. It used to be much lower. Well, not much lower, but it was down below this hump here, more where the volume up is. So um, I think, you know, they did that with ergonomics in mind. If you're holding the player in one hand, um, I think it is easier to be able to hit that power button right up here. Um, you've got your volume up and down and your playback buttons. And then on the bottom, you've got your USB-C port for charging and for transferring music. It's a pretty sleek look. Like I said, lightweight, bigger screen, HD, it's all good. Now the WM1A M2 um, has an even stronger power supply than its predecessor in the analog block and also in the digital block. And this was inspired by Sony's flagship digital music player, the DMP-Z1. 
So the WM1AM2 has Sony's S-Master HX digital amp technology. So you're gonna get 11.2 millihertz DSD native when you're using the balanced headphone out, as well as PCM384 kilohertz 32-bit support. The WM1A also includes MQA technology, which allows you to play back MQA files. Now, the player does not come preloaded with any streaming apps, but you can download whatever you want. The WMA does come equipped with the Google Play Store and a slew of Google-supported apps. You simply swipe up on the screen, I'm gonna show you that in a little bit, um, to see the apps. Now, when you log into the Google Play Store to download, let's say, Tidal or Cobuzz, you're gonna automatically be logged into all of your Google apps, including email. So the question is, do you want all of those Gmail notifications coming to your Walkman? It might be annoying, and it can also prevent a security risk given that your device is protected by a simple passcode. But to get rid of your email or other apps that you don't want, you would have to go in and log out of and then manually uninstall each app that you don't want, and that's a pain. To get around this, you could bypass the Google Play Store entirely and instead manually install any APK or Android-based apps that you want directly onto the device. This can be done through apkpure.com. We're gonna link a blog post in the description that shows you how to do this. Uh, it was written in regard to Estelle and Kerr music players, but it's relevant for Sony as well. Removing any unwanted apps is also gonna help save your battery. So let's go ahead and power this thing on. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is and do it one-handed. So I'll just kind of walk you through the- Walk us through the Walkman. The, there you go. Guys behind the camera have all the good jokes. All right, so we are powered on. I went through and did all of the startup stuff. And so we're here on the Walkman home screen. So you, you have the option of the Walkman home screen or swipe over for the Android home screen. So on the Walkman home screen, you have your music player widget. And so you don't actually have to go into any app to play your music. And then on the, and you've got your play controls there. You've got your um, setup for your Sony headphones connect app and you can customize the home screen to however you like. So that is the NWWM1A M2 from Sony in a nutshell. This is a great portable option for audiophiles who want streaming capability along with that classic, warm, full, fun Sony sound, plus lots of features and functionality. It's available to order for $13.99 at moon-audio.com. So we are hoping to get you a full review of this very soon. Um, just a heads up that US supply is really limited right now and demand is definitely outpacing supply. So again, we hope to get you a review pretty soon. I know I cannot wait to sit down and delve into this. Um, if you have any questions or if there's anything you want us to address in the review, drop a comment below. And as always, thanks so much for watching.